greeting. How are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, we talked about letting go of anything you left behind yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually. I suggest you clean that up. You created that mess, and in order to have a good day, and you wonder why you're depressed and down and angry, well, it's everything to do with what you did yesterday. So clean that up, and you're going to have a great day today. We do not have tomorrow, and yesterday is gone. This is it. This is all we have is today. Okay, I'm going to go over the list of all the things that control us. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people-pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself, distractions everywhere then you have nothing but excuses gambling work working out food addiction binge tv phone podcast news caffeine surgeries pain being in a relationship with a man or a woman mentally physically spiritually financially emotionally or sexually abusing one another and you may want to add to the list okay today i want to talk about um, listening more, don't give, in, don't give advice unless you're asked. Most people just need to speak out loud um, so they can come up with some answers and they just want you to be there and listen and be a sounding board and trust that they will be able to come up with the right answer for themselves. And when they do ask for advice, then you could give it to them. And I, I had an experience um, and this is really hard for parents or grandparents or best friends. We always feel like, or husbands, wives, we always feel like we have to have solutions to the problems for the people that are crying or upset or that are in pain um, and want answers. And the only ones that have the answers are the people that are speaking and the answers lie in each and every one of us. And really, we do not know what's best. We can be an example. We can share our experience, strength, and hope. If they ask for our advice, remember. So this uh, weekend, I had a beautiful uh, time with my son going up to Clarion to see my grandson that's 21. And, you know, my boys are uh, 43 and 42. And Joey, I just realized, is going to be 44 in September. And I, I realized, Marianne, you did your job. You raised your kids. You did the best you could. When they want advice, they know. They know how you feel. They, they know what's right from wrong. You, and your, your sons told you you did a fantastic job. Just trust it. And it's all about fear and understanding that we have nothing to fear but fear itself and that they are going to make mistakes, they are going to feel the pain, and we can't take that away. And actually, it's a gift when we allow them to lie in their shit. It's a gift when we allow them to lie in their blood. That is the only way each and every one of us learns, or we never learn the lesson if we keep enabling and keep cleaning up their messes. And when we keep cleaning up messes and enabling people, they become monsters, and they never grow up, and they never get the right answers because you don't allow them to learn on life's terms and you think that you're going to save them. Here's the good news. You can't save anybody but yourself. Let go. Listen. Trust the process. Be there to listen. They ask for advice. Share your experience, strength, and hope. That's all we can do. And trust the process. Life on life's terms. And we are not God. There's only one God and it's not us. All right, balance, not too much of anything. Our kids, our work, our play, our partners. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is infected by it. You cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect you get in return. Remember, the goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. Our thinking can make or break us. 
That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It has to be as natural as going to the bathroom or else our head gets backed up. Remember, when you have an attitude today, remember, be attitude, being in the highest possible state of happiness, good humor, and contentment with the way things are. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. Doing your part, no exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Hey, you manipulators, smooth talkers, narcissisms, your words mean nothing and your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful spiritual saying from Louise L. Hay on addiction, um, uh, running from yourself, not knowing how to love yourself, loving treatment. Deep at the center of my being, there's an infinite well of love. I now allow this love to flow to the surface. It fills my heart, my body, my mind, my conscious, my very being. It radiates from me in all directions and returns to me multiplied. The more love I use and give, the more I have to give. The supply is endless. The use of love makes me feel good. It's an expression of my inner joy. I love myself, therefore I take loving care of my body. I lovingly feed it nourishing foods and beverages. I lovingly groom it and dress it, and my body lovingly responds to me with vibrant health and energy. I love myself, therefore I provide for myself a comfortable home, one that feels all my needs and is a pleasure to be in. I fill the rooms with vibration of love so that all who enter, myself included, will feel this love and be nourished by it. I love myself, therefore I work at a job that I truly enjoy doing, one that uses my creative talents and abilities working with and for people that I love and that love me and earning a good income. I love myself, therefore I behave and think in a loving way to all people, for I know that which I give out returns to me multiplied. I only attract loving people in my world, for they are a mirror of what I am. I love myself, therefore I forgive and totally release the past. In all past experiences, I am free. I love myself, therefore I live totally in the now, experiencing each moment as good and knowing that my future is bright and joyous and secure. For I'm a beloved child of the universe, and the universe lovingly takes care of me now and forevermore. So it is. Trust the process. No more questioning. All I need is taken care of. Louise L. Hay. Beautiful woman. Okay, um, I'm going to read in my book, page 81, P. P is for procrastination. Procrastination is not having done something you should have. The reality is that we all must do mundane tasks that we don't like to fulfill the obligations. We don't like to fulfill the obligations of life so we can enjoy the things that matter. It's not healthy to procrastinate. You cheat yourself and the obligations around you. Procrastination is a word for being lazy and irresponsible. It's time to get into action. No more excuses. Just do it. Oh boy, I love when I hear people say, oh, I'm a procrastinator. No, you just are lazy. You keep putting things off and make excuses and have plenty of distractions around you. Yesterday, I, I have always something every day that I do, um, and I always have rewards, and yesterday was beautiful. It was raining, and I had a project to do outside, and I had to really psych myself to do it. I had to put on my knee pads, on um, my driveway, I had to pull weeds, I had to pull, um, I had trimming to do, I had clean up in the back, and I, it was like all the landscaping everywhere is on steroids, and um, I have to do this with all the properties, but that stuff I used to do that I no longer do anymore, that I've handed it over, and I delegate now, which is wonderful, and I'm, I'm delegating it beautifully, I no longer can do it, want to do it. And um, it, it actually feels good to know that I used to do it and that I no longer can do it or choose to do it. And um, such a freedom in that, earning every stage of your life and being proud to pass the torch to somebody else 
and knowing that you would never ask anybody to do anything that you would not do yourself. And that's way, the way my husband and I live our life. Um, we work with our workers. We would never have them do anything that we wouldn't do. We have no problem cleaning up shit. We have no problem getting dirty. Um, he's 80 and I'm 63 and we still get down. We still get dirty. We still keep it rocking and continue to do the things that we can do. Because what happens is <clears throat> the more stuff you put off and the lazier you get, you tell your body and, and mind to do that and you become crippled. And um, my biggest fear is not being able to do my work, to um, take care of myself, and uh, to take care of my responsibilities. And my husband and I really enjoy doing the real estate together, and we're going to do it as long as we can. And I love my counseling, and I love my uh, doing my podcast and going back and forth to the mountains. But you have to have energy to do all that. We have to pack the cooler, pack the car pack the dogs. I mean, everything is work, but if you do it with alacrity and excitement and, and um, not think of it as punishment, you can literally love <clears throat> everything you do from the time you get up into the time you go to bed, and I'm living it, and I'm, I'm doing it right now, and enjoying everything. You have no idea how excited I was. I literally finished my work off in the rain. I look like a drenched rat, and I just had this ear-to-ear -ear grin. And just so proud of myself of accomplishing a task that was pretty difficult and I wanted to get done and it wasn't as bad as I made it out to be when the project was done that's what we do we make it a mountain out of a molehill and the hardest part is just getting started that's why I'm doing this podcast to help you get motivated and started for the day recharge reconnect and take off. All right, remember, work on one thing at a time. Eventually, it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. Do one of these things for 30 days, and in one year, you won't recognize yourself. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts. What's controlling you? I accept today where I am powerless. I have control where I have choices. <clears throat> I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she is appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today. I'll be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bail out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key. We cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will accept and say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I'm willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. Discipline is freedom. Do two things a day you don't want to do to be successful. My two things are always getting up early, working out, keeping my food clean, and the rest will follow. We can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from our head to our heart. The greatest gift you can give yourself. You can reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my uh, workshops and my books. If you want to learn about my services, lifeinharmonyonline.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my services with you. Remember, I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday. Hit that colorful wow button that says L. Hit subscribe. Share with everybody you love and respect. Please start with podcast number one, number two, number three. There's order into receiving all this information and do it 15 minutes a day in 30 days you won't even recognize yourself and remember i want you to have a bewildering day today and thank you for 
listening.